Hi everyone, I am Nishant and I am back in another video of Avid Education Academy. See, our motive is simple to give you free education through your laptops, mobiles and PCs. And don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification first on your phone. So, let's get started. Hello everyone, I am back with my new topic that is animal cell. In my previous video, we have discussed about plant cell. Now, this is a typical animal cell and uh, first of all we uh, need to know about that the membrane which is surrounding the cell is known as cell membrane or plasma membrane in plant cell already as discussed that there are two uh, coverings or the two layers that we call one is cell wall and another one is cell membrane but here there is only single membrane which covers the cell and inside the cell membrane there is protoplasm the living material of the cell is known as protoplasm here you can see in this diagram one central one spherical structure is present in the cell that is known as nucleus nucleus is the brain of the cell we call as a brain of the cell because it controls all the activities of the cell as well as the genetic materials it pass on to the next generation it is surrounded this nucleus is surrounded by one membrane that is known as nuclear membrane inside nucleus there is fluid which is filled with nucleoplasm as we call that cell is surrounded by uh, inside the cell membrane there is protoplasm in the same way nucleus is filled with one fluid structure that is known as nucleoplasm in nucleus why do we call it as a brain of the cell and uh, it contains all uh, as it uh, controls all the uh, activities of the cell all the life processes which are occurred in the cell and as well as the genetic characters which are present in chromatin chromatin are the thread like structures are the thread like structures which carries all the genetic information so that's why this uh, nucleus is the most important part of the cell now moving to next cell organelle we are this one you can see the structure here this is mitochondria mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell as it generate energy for the cell everything which goes inside the cell the energy is supplied by mitochondria by breaking down of the glucose molecules next we can see the structure here lysosome lysosomes are they contains various kinds of digestive enzymes which helps the cell to digest those cell organelles or whatever the uh, cell uh, inclusions are present which are not functioning in the cell so these are digestive enzymes are present in lysosomes that's why we call it as the suicidal bags of the cell here we can see ribosomes these are granular structures present in uh, the cell that help in the synthesis of proteins proteins is a very important part of the cell so they help in the synthesis of proteins in the cell next we can see rough endoplasmic reticulum there are two kinds of uh, endoplasmic reticulum that we can say rough and smooth rough there are granules present on this this we will discuss on this uh, organelle later on in our next other videos but uh, only i want to give you brief uh, description of uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum there are the protein granules present on this endoplasmic reticulum now one important thing that are the centrioles centrioles are present in animal cell not in plant cell and they help in the division of cell so these are present you can see the star like structures these are the star like structures which are present inside the animal cell and they help in the cell and this is the second difference which is uh, is present in uh, animal cell but not in plant cell now again i want to tell you about the uh, brief description of cell. so now with the help of flow chart i want to tell you see how the cell has been divided 
cell cell is divided into two parts number one this is the outer one this is cell membrane or we can say it is plasma membrane why this cell membrane is selectively permeable membrane as it allows the entry of certain materials to come inside the cell and just stops the uh, other uh, substances which are not useful for the cell so this is the covering or we can see the boundary of the cell next it is divided into protoplasm what the outer one the outer membrane is the cell membrane and inside the cell membrane whatever is there inside the cell the living part of the cell is known as your protoplasm this is the living part of the cell now the protoplasm is again divided into cytoplasm and nucleus nucleus as i have already told you this is the brain of the cell controls all the activities as our brain so it controls all the activities it controls the genetic materials it uh, stores all the genetic materials and carry forward to the next generation so this is the nucleus this is the central part of the cell cytoplasm outside the nucleus see please it is very easy to uh, identify that how you can just find out cytoplasm outside the nucleus and inside protoplasm this is cytoplasm cytoplasm is further divided into cell organelles these are the living parts of the cells and this have are having distinct structures and they do specific function cell inclusions these are the non living part of the cell cell inclusions are the non living part of the cells which are present in cytoplasm so cell inclusions are the non living part of the cell these are present in the cytoplasm okay that's all for today's video we will meet in our next video till then bye bye